Here's a video of me dancing in a nightclub in Preston to Bass Hunter, a DJ from the 2000s that many of you may know. He has three good songs, two of which are the same song just translated into Swedish. But what you don't know is that that video was taken 10 minutes after he came onto the stage and then shortly after I put my phone away, he left. Now some people would say that I was scammed, and I would agree. But whilst I was being scammed by a Swedish DJ, an even bigger scam was unravelling over the weekend, and what it has developed into is worse than I think some people know. Slicker is a streamer with over 400,000 followers who regularly streams and he gets about 100 to 1,000 viewers concurrently. But a couple days ago he was found out to have been scamming quite literally every single person person he possibly could. It seems that he really had no limit because it's come out that hundreds of streamers and even some of his own viewers have been caught up in this scam. Now the general gist of what he was doing was that he was going to people and asking for money. I hope you don't hate me on this. It's so cringe and I'm cringe for asking my brother please do not hate me. Please keep it personal as well. Basically, um, my bank account got locked. This has happened for like three, four days. I've been asking around people. Sadly, um, today, well, tomorrow is the last day um, until my credit starts getting fucked up. Obviously, we all know that this is a scam now, but when you watch that back, you can really see all the telltale signs. He's self-deprecating. He's trying to make you feel sympathetic or guilty towards him. He says that you need to keep it to yourself and not tell anybody because he's embarrassed about it. He needs the money urgently so as to not give you any time to sort of think things through. It's these things that always crop up in literally any scam. And just quickly before we go further into it, as much as this definitely is his fault and he is an awful person for what he's done, we have to be careful when we talk about these things because it's very, very easy for stuff like this to turn into a dog pile. And when that happens, it becomes more of a witch hunt rather than trying to solve an issue. Things like addiction are very serious issues that often run deeper than any surface level YouTube video is going to be able to talk about. But but that's not to say he's devoid of any fault. As I'm about to get into, he has done some awful things to some very, very nice people. And he deserves every single repercussion that he's going to get. A UK government study showed that at least 4% of people are gambling at risk. And at least 7% of people are negatively affected by gambling. It also shows that rates among young people, who I would say are more impressionable and are more at risk of developing these sort of like habits, were around around 35%. And I think it's very safe to say that obviously young people are Twitch's main demographic. And I'll even put my own hands up and say that I have gambled every so often whenever I'm watching the football or the uh, soccer, as some people would incorrectly say. What he has done is inexcusable. The fact of the matter is, he has scammed a lot of people out of a lot of money and he is a con artist. So what did he actually do? Well, as you saw in the video I showed earlier, and I'll even post some DMs up onto the screen whilst I'm talking about it, Slicker was targeting just about anybody that he thought he would be able to get money from. He would send a similar video to the one that I've already shown you or a message along the same lines saying that he had some sort of issue with his banking, saying that his account was locked or that he has a credit card that he needs to pay off really soon. He would send people pictures of a letter that explained he had some sort of tax issues and that there was a lot of money that he owed to the government. The most despicable part though is that he even told one streamer who was currently going through chemotherapy that there were men outside his house that were going to break his legs if he didn't pay them that instant. Well, going through chemo, he calls me up and he is... Sorry, I'm shaking thinking about it. He... I thought this guy was my friend and he calls me up saying that he's going to get shanked. He owes people money and they're outside. Like, if he doesn't pay them, then, like, they're going to break his legs. And I'm thinking... Like, I gotta help this guy, you know? Yeah, I was going through a 
Kimo, I even think I'm getting scammed by like my friend. Like he's in a hard time, I'm in a hard time, but I can help him. That clip is a hard watch. The first time I saw it, I genuinely was in shock. But that clip came from CoffeeZilla's video and I would genuinely recommend going to watch it because it gives you a sort of very comprehensive overview of all the damage that he has caused. Coffee interviews loads of the victims that were affected by this and he even estimates that the amount that he scammed out of people was over $300,000. And when I was researching this topic and thinking about how I can even go about talking about this, I was watching a lot of people's videos on it. And I thought rather than just spew the same words that everybody else has been saying and state the facts of what has happened and join the chorus, I wanted to talk about something that I feel like many people either missed or just haven't spoken about enough and that is the deeper issue that this whole situation has brought out. I can go onto Twitch and I'll even do it now as I'm talking to you. I can click on browse, I can scroll down, not even that far, it's in the second row and there's already a category called slots. And then as you can see, there are hundreds, if not thousands of streams of people just playing slots. And they're not small streams. As I'm recording this, it's only 3 p.m. UK time, so it's not even the American streamers that are out right now. This is just the rest of the world. And we have 7K views, 5K views, 4K, 4K, 2K, 2K. There are thousands and thousands of people watching other people gamble. I'm not the first person to ever say this, and I'm I'm definitely not going to be the last, but Twitch has a serious issue that they desperately need to fix and that is gambling streams. And I'm not gonna single people out or point and laugh at them and say, this is your fault, this is your doing, because I completely understand why people would stream gambling when the incentive is so high. How much do they pay you as a flat fee every month for fulfilling your contractual I'll, obligation I'll, to I'll them. probably get in trouble for releasing it, but I'll tell you a million, a million a month. A million dollars a month. If you didn't know, that was a streamer called Trainwreck talking about how much he is paid by these companies to gamble on stream each month. Do you know how hard it must be for people to look at that amount of money and turn it down? It's a life-changing amount, it's crazy. That's $12 million a year just to sit in your room and gamble online. But sponsored gambling is rampant on Twitch and all it does is serve as a pipeline for getting these viewers onto the sites to gamble away their money. Because what else is in it for these companies? No one sat here looking at them going, oh great, how nice of them to give my favorite streamer loads of money so that he can gamble it away on stream and have loads of fun. They're using these audiences as a source of income. I think this clip from Austinox puts it best. You, games, fun. Slots, money, slots, wins, gamble, money, gamble, jackpot, penthouse suite, expensive cars, you with a girl, winning money, 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 wins, gamble, fun, slots, 40 hour stream, you and a McLaren, fucking buck, 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 gamble, more, you fucking pussy, more wins, more money, more slots, charity, gamble, 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 please gamble responsibly. Ludwig, one of the most watched streamers recently, someone who has actually recently moved from Twitch all the way over to YouTube, tweeted out saying this. He said, I'm working with XQC to pay everyone back who got scammed by Slyker. It's time Twitch does something about gambling streams. I'm so glad that there are streamers out there that are actively trying to look out for the community um, and try and get the money back to all of these people who lost it from just being nice. If anything, it also kind of shows how nice and human some of these streamers are, that they will go to the lengths of sending somebody money just to help them out financially, even if it did end up with them being scammed. But even if everybody does get their money back, what are the next steps? Trainwreck, who I mentioned earlier, has never been shy of being controversial. He tweeted out that he doesn't think it's right that everybody is now jumping at Twitch's throat to put a ban or a stop on gambling. I think he even said that quote-unquote clout goblins 
are scapegoating gambling in this situation. Now I completely get what he is saying and I do agree that sports betting has become more normalized than any other form of gambling. I even said at the start of this video that I do it myself sometimes. And I can also say that it's the only form of gambling that I've ever done. Because with stuff like that, it genuinely has just become the normal thing to do that whenever you watch football, you put a little bet on the side. And I have to give him credit where credit is due because as much as he does come across as a massive twat, he has done some very nice things. Like he set up a free mental health service for all of his viewers to access, which I think is very, very admirable. And he wasn't flat out saying that gambling on Twitch should be left how it is. He called for a middle ground saying that people that sell these sort of false realities where they're winning all the time need to be banned. But as much as I do agree with that, personally, I don't think that gambling should have any place in media at all. I do think that Twitch needs to clamp down on this sooner rather than later because the longer they leave it, the more people are being hurt. And at the end of the day, it's only going to add to the ever-growing reasons for why people are abandoning the platform. But that's just my thoughts on it at the end of the day. I'm not here to say that I'm right and I'm not here to say that other people are wrong. I'm just offering up my own opinion, which is why I wanna hear from you guys. I know that my last video attracted a hell of a lot more attention than any video I've ever done before. So I know there's a lot of new faces around here and I wanna know what you guys think. So make sure you leave a comment down below and if you're feeling extra crazy, make sure you hit subscribe at the same time. But other than that, see ya.